This is the Two Trees TTC 450 CNC engraver. It's an easy to use machine that is made for hobby use and for small to medium sized projects. The machine comes in the box 70% pre-assembled. There's a detailed build manual included in the box and if you need more information there's a full build tutorial on the SD card. All the items are clearly labelled which makes it easy to identify the parts and assemble the machine. Assembly starts with the base which is made of sections of aluminium. These parts are bolted together with screws. After that, two MDF boards are bolted on top. Next is to attach the sides which are pre-assembled and include the lead screws and stepper motors installed. It's good having the complex parts already pre-assembled which speeds up the build process. Another part that's pre-assembled is the Z-axis and this has the stepper motor, lead screw and end stops all installed. The drag chain is installed to the machine which has all the wiring all ready to go all the way up to the control box. It is all pre-wired and neatly labelled. This part just bolts into place and then the wires are connected to the stepper motors and to the end stops. To keep things tidy, a few cables that are underneath are managed with plastic covers. The main control touchscreen is bolted onto the front of the control box which places it in an easy to access position. And to complete the build process, the spindle motor is secured with a metal clamp. Then the two wires for the motor are connected. During the build I found everything fitted well together with good tolerances and with the complex parts already pre-assembled it's only a matter of bolting parts together and plugging in cables. The process does take some time but the assembly is quite straightforward. With the machine built we can take a quick look around and check everything is assembled correctly. One area I think needs attention is the Z-axis end stop cable. According to the instructions this is plugged in from the underside but in this location it hangs down. While it shouldn't cause any issues over the work area, I will look to rewire this so it travels up and under the plastic cover and over the top. A power cable is plugged into the side of the control box and the machine is turned on to test the movement. On the touch screen we can go through and test the movement and power on the motor to check everything is functioning correctly. The machine has a work area of 460 by 460 millimetres and a work height of 80 millimetres, which should be plenty of space for hobby projects. The build is all metal which gives a solid frame and this makes it well suited for machining materials like plastic, wood, acrylic, PCBs and soft aluminium. But if you need hassle free CNC machining for a larger variety of materials, our sponsor of today's video can help. PCB Way is a one stop solution for PCB prototypes and assembly. With more than a decade in the field, they are also providing CNC machining, laser cutting, sheet metal fabrication, injection moulding and a 3D printing service. Sometimes we don't have all the required tools at home or in the workshop for our projects, so this is the perfect solution for producing high quality parts. Getting parts made is a super easy process. On the PCB Way site, simply select the service required, upload a CAD file then fill out the details for the quantity, material type and other properties. You will receive a quote and then submit your request and once the order is placed the part will be made and shipped out to you. If you're looking to get some PCB boards made, CNC machine parts, sheet metal fabrication or 3D printed parts for your next project, see the link in the video's description for PCB Way's site and check them out. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring today's video. The 80 watt spindle comes with an ER11 chuck installed. This makes it easy to install and change cutting tools. There is a selection of carving, milling and V-shaped cutters included and also a 6mm collet for fitting larger bits to the ER11. There's an optional 500 watt spindle which I think would be a good upgrade for faster machining and working on tougher materials. The MDF work surface has a grid of threaded inserts for attaching and securing the workpiece. The kit comes with a pack of fixture brackets that are used for holding down the workpieces. On the side of the control box there is an SD card slot, power plug, USB connection, the on off switch and the emergency stop button. When using the machine it's controlled via the touch screen or by a computer over USB or there's built in Wi-Fi. The kit also includes a Z probe sensor, a pair of safety glasses, some basic tools including allen keys and spanners, a small brush and file and a pair of side cutters. 
There are a few different ways for getting files onto the machine. We can save the G-code to an SD card or transferred files over Wi-Fi or via the USB connection. The first engraving test is the included text G-code file. The machine is prepared with the carving cutter tool and the G-code file is loaded into the included candle gerbil software. In the software we can control the machine and start jobs. The tool is moved and positioned to the edge of the MDF board material and the height is set. I find using a piece of paper to set the tool piece as close as possible to the surface works well. With this all set up we can run the job. The first test is completed quickly and the machining looks accurate. This is given a light sanding and a quick vacuum to clean it up. These letters are small and are about 6mm in height. And the finished result isn't perfect but will be usable and looks quite good. For the next test we'll be using the free online easel software. I do prefer this software as it has a user friendly interface and very easy to operate for beginners. The CNC machine can be added to the software but first the easel drivers need to be downloaded and installed then the machine can be set up. With the machine set up and connected there's full control for the movement of the axis and in the software we're able to prepare and start the job. The material type and size and selecting the machining tool are all completed within the software. A design from the online design library can be inserted into the workspace or we can create our own design or import an SVG file. I've selected this basic pencil design and with it selected it will ask for the cut type whether we want a fill or outline. For this one we will select the fill which will carve out the design to the depth of the cut adjusted. With all the settings ready to go we can click on carve. The software then goes through the steps to check everything is ready to go. This is especially handy for beginners and it also helps double check before starting a job. This has a checklist for the material thickness. It reminds you to check the material is secure, confirm the bit size and to zero the bit to the front left corner. With all the steps confirmed we can turn on the spindle and start the job. This pencil design is being carved out of MDF using the 3.2mm milling bit. It's being carved out at a total depth of 3mm and settings for this job are conservative with a feed rate set to 200mm per minute with a plunge rate of 50mm per minute and a depth pass of 0.5mm. The finished job turned out great and the machine completed the task with little effort. I continued with the same material for a few more tests and with some text and a smaller club design. The club design was set to run a bit faster with a 400mm per minute feed rate. It did complete this job a lot quicker and it's a usable result but not quite as clean as the first pencil design that was engraved. For the next test we have a piece of black 3mm perspex. The perspex is simply held down with some high quality high strength double sided tape. The machine settings are prepared in easel and sent to the CNC machine. It's using the 3.2mm milling bit to cut out the inside parts first and then cut around the edges. The feed rate is set to 400mm per minute with a 50mm per minute plunge rate and a 0.5mm depth per pass. I set this to cut a bit deeper than the thickness of the perspex to ensure the part would be easy to remove from the main piece. With the job finished and a quick vacuum to clean up the surface, the tool is moved out of the way and the perspex is lifted off the waste board. While the main perspex piece lifted easily off the board, the actual cutout design is well stuck down with the double sided tape, so using a flat scraper was needed to help lift it off the surface. The final part turned out well although there is room for improvement. The double sided tape needs to be cleaned off the back and some machining tabs around the design need to be filed down. I found the machine worked well with wood and perspex and I'll be looking to upgrade to the more powerful and larger 500 watt spindle for harder materials. The TTC 450 is a well functioning machine built on a solid aluminium frame that works well out of the box. It's easy to assemble and produces good results. 
This machine will be suited for hobby projects and beginners looking to try out and learn about basics of CNC router engraving.